<laughs> all right, all right, all right. You guys want to know how I managed to seduce my fiance? Well, let me tell you. It was a piece of cake. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 here's another, here's another one. My fiance took her pants to the dry cleaner last week. The woman there took one look at him and said, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. We don't do curtains. <laughs> curtains, come on. Oh, Brenda, honey, I promise to love every bit of you. And that, that is a whole lot to love. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's another, here's another. Brenda, are you okay? I really don't know what Niels is thinking sometimes. You know, he tells me it's all a big joke and I shouldn't be this sensitive, but I'm just too tired of this. Your wedding is a week away. You really need to get this sorted out before then. It's gonna be okay. I mean, who would even want to marry me? You want to know the secret to a happy marriage? It's finding a woman who is so desperate to have a guy in her life, she'll settle back and let you do whatever you want. How can you say that? Beauty comes in all shapes and sizes, and you've been always stunning, even if you don't think it. Not by the society, no. Society? You mean morons like Neil? You tell me you want to go around impressing people like that? <sighs> so, you gonna do the dishes in the morning or? Yeah, I'll do them tomorrow. I'm too tired tonight. Well, it shouldn't be that hard to finish up. You already cleaned all the plates. With your tongue. <laughs> what? What is it? Your big mouth. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you really think we live in the 80s? Do you really think it's still okay to make fun of my weight? Uh, Brenda, come on, that's what we call banter. Everyone was laughing. I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it's because you wouldn't know a good joke if a bitch in your big old butt. Or is it because I'm sensitive and I don't like to be insulted? Oh, come on. We joke like that all the time. No, you joke like that all the time and I'm sick of it. Whatever. Where are you going? Oh, I got a last minute dress fitting. I, uh, I thought you picked out your wedding dress months ago. I did. I just have to make sure it fits perfectly so they can make any last minute adjustments. <laughs> I gotcha. Huh? Well, you were, uh, Working down that cheesecake last night like it was the last one on earth. <laughs> oh my god, can you stop making cracks about my weight? What? I'm just saying, if there are any last minute adjustments that need to be made, it's because of the way you eat. Look, it's not like I'm getting on YouTube screaming about how my fiance is Little Miss Piggy. You may as well. Oh, please. Look, you always make fun of my weight, whether we're with friends or alone. Oh, well, I thought I was marrying a girl who had a sense of humor, who could take a little playful banter. And I thought I was marrying a man who had common sense to know when to stop. I guess we're both wrong at that. Oh, screw this. Brenda, you can still back out of the wedding. It's not too late. No, it's, it's all been paid for. There's no way we can get our money back. So that's the sticking point? Money? 
Maybe I'm just being too sensitive. Niels is trying to be funny. That, that's a really weird sense of humor if you ask me. Okay. All I gotta do is be less sensitive. Everything's gonna be all right. Neil and Brenda are exchanging rings today as a symbol of unending love. Neil, as you place the ring on Brenda's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed and pledge you my love now and forever. With this ring, I thee wed and pledge my love now and... God, your chubby little fingers aren't making this any easier, are they? They're like sausages. <laughs> when I first saw Brenda, I thought, you know what? No one else can have her. Well, no one else was interested. <laughs> Brenda's just this great girl with a great, big personality, right? We all see it. I'm really looking forward to our future together and growing old and wide. Or wise, <laughs> I meant wise, come on. But in all seriousness, Brenda, I'm really happy we got married. And I hope you can keep me very, very happy. Especially later tonight, right, fellas? Pray for me, fellas. <laughs> Thank you. I guess it's my turn. Well, <sighs> thank you, honey. First off, I would like to say thank you to all friends and family for being here on a special day. I know a lot of you have traveled far, so I hope you at least enjoy the meal. You certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> when I first met Neil, I thought, well, that's a man. And to be honest, I was pretty underwhelmed. Um, but once we got to know each other, I realized that he's just pretty underwhelming. <laughs> Neil is the kind of guy who thinks that learning, maturing, and growing is for children. Because when he was 17, he thought that he knows everything, so he dropped out of school. <laughs> And he's still pretty proud about the fact that he doesn't have any degrees, which says a lot about his dreams, which tops out making sure the fridge is stocked up with cheap beer. Am I right, honey? <laughs> ah. Neil once told me that he was a little nervous about the size of, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, but I told him that there's nothing to worry about. Literally, there's barely anything, so I worry. <laughs> <laughs> to a marriage that will last ages. And if we're measuring the ages by the time it takes Neil to finish. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, sis. Here you go. What the hell was that? What? It's all jokes. Banter. I thought you liked that kind of thing. But about my, my... What were you thinking? I wasn't. I was laughing with everyone else. You stupid, gross pig. Brenda, honey, are you okay? I made the biggest mistake, Jim. The biggest mistake of my life. Listen, we can get it annulled. It'll look like it never happened. I'm just so embarrassed. What's a beautiful bride doing crying in the bathroom on her wedding day? It's just my husband keeps calling me over. What does he know? 
That's what I've been telling her. It's just all the time. It's constant, he keeps calling the banter. I think you're stunning. I mean, really, really stunning. Yes, right? I think the same. I wish other people thought so. I think they do. And if you'll give me a call on Monday, I think I can prove it. My name is Gloria Breen. I'm the head of Breen Modeling Agency. And we always have a place for beautiful plus size women. I'd like to talk to you about the industry and where I think you might fit into it. And if you're willing, I'd like to do a test shoot. At my expense, of course, this isn't some kind of scam. See? Carol. Thank you. Thank you. Girl! Oh my god. <laughs> and I went to see Gloria that Monday and she wasn't lying. We talked for two hours and she arranged the test photo shoot that same week. And it all went on from there. I mean, the rocket took off and it has not landed yet. Uh, I signed with her a few weeks later and she sent out my portfolio and it was almost instant. I booked my first modeling job on my first audition. And that was a year ago. And what a success it's been, gracing the covers of Vogue, Tatler, People, and Chic Magazine. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And if the one beholding you doesn't agree, Behold someone else, because I ain't got the time for you. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, seriously, um, what the viewers really want to know is, are you still married? No. I realized I need to fill my self-worth with my own happiness and not the familiarity of being in a toxic relationship. A lot of women put themselves into terrible relationships with men that don't even think much of them. And women do that because they think that they don't deserve much. But I'm here to tell you, you deserve everything. Hmm, what you say is very resonant. I mean, it's common sense. And <coughs> it gets lost in the world of, oh look, I'm so beautiful and cool in the TikTok culture we live in nowadays. Hmm, wise words, Brenda, wise words indeed. Secret Diaries fans, we really hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll use this opportunity to ask you something I really want to know. If a celebrity has a crush on another celebrity, does it count as a celebrity crush? Let me know in the comments below. We love reading them.